Hey, shalom, shalom. Uh, this is Sana. I'm coming back with another lesson. I want to start off by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yah, Bashim Yahushua. Double honor to the elders that rule well. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, out there preaching His word in sincerity and truth. Um, I just, uh, man, you know, just the day to day, man, going through through uh, Babylon, and you just the spirit gets so vexed, man. Just dealing with these proud ass Edomites, man, and uh, in that inner mindset, so I just want to kind of go into the pride of Esau and how his pride is going to be a destruction, man. You know, and Babylon uh, is going to be destroyed in his pride, and it's going to be a beautiful thing. Um, and so I'm just going to grab a, grab a couple of scriptures on that, man, and, and uh, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. Uh, I'm going to start off with Proverbs, uh, the eighth chapter, and uh, the 17th verse. No, 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 no. The thirteenth verse, excuse me, says, "The fear of the of the, uh, the fear of Yahweh is, is to hate evil." And so, you know, if you fear the Lord, you hate evil, man. And we, we, we know that in this uh, kingdom of, uh, of America, the, the, it's evil is pushed out onto all the masses of the world, man. And so, we we, we are not to uh, uh, be lined with the with the fashions of this world. We to hate it. Uh, if we fear the Lord, so you're supposed to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy in the evil way, and that's what you see as as far as the the sentiment here in this place is. These people are full of evil, pride, arrogancy, and, and the evil way. Whether it comes to the the, the the diet that they have, the the clothes that they wear, the type of lifestyle that they lead, um, the idols that they worship, the customs that they keep, uh, the relationships that they maintain. Um, their dealings with people day to day, the business structures, the criminal justice system, what they teach in the education systems, the way the financial system works, uh, the, 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 the class and caste systems that they have um, to uh, put the Israelites at the bottom. It's, it's all set up in an evil, arrogant, and prideful way, man, against the, the will of the Heavenly Father. So we are to hate it. And it says, and a forward mouth do I hate, man. And the leader of this, uh, of this, of this, uh, well, I would say the poster boy of this country is this guy, Donald Trump. And you can't tell me that he doesn't have a first mouth or a first mouth. Let's not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. He has been very threatening. Uh, beyond a normal safety. Now, okay, brothers, uh, you know I, I work. I work in sales, um, so uh, you know I direct. I direct sales teams. I direct sales managers. And one thing you teach a salesperson is to be able to read body language, because that's going to tell you about eighty percent of the sentiment of a person. Now, if you look at it, if you look at, at at this man's posture. The way he has his arms folded, his shoulders back, his chin up, and he uh, rarely shows eye contact, okay? When you're paying attention to him, that lets you know uh, that you're dealing with a very arrogant, very stubborn, um, uh, forward. Now, when you look up that word, it's a perverse, and he exudes that, and so... Um, to sell a person like this, um, you have you have to speak over his head, but then cater to his ego, and that sell will go right down. Easy, easy, very easy sell. As I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. Right, and so you see how he says things which he knows he doesn't believe. He doesn't believe a word of what he's saying. Um, they put a barrier in his back and he just goes. Um, but when you talk to these Americans about the American military, it's the same sentiment. They go into things about the American military. We are the best, best ever military, full of pride, knowing that these other countries have have same weapon power. Say have the same. You might have more of the weapons, but they have they have those weapons, man. And you know you need allies, man. You, you, you're not, uh, you, you know, the, the Most High is going to put the Spirit on you to engage these people with fire and fury, and it's going to be a beautiful thing, because you're going to be met with destruction. It's going to be beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man, it's corny ass, you know?
So hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe. Donald like Trump had fire and fury for Iran late Sunday after President Hassan Rouhani warned Trump against hostile policies against Tehran. The U.S. president tweeted in all caps, quote, Never ever threaten the United States again or you will suffer consequences the likes of which few throughout. You see that? So for one, it's just childish to address a world leader on a social media website. Um, another thing is very petty childish for a major news syndicate to even entertain a, tw a, 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 a message to world leaders sent by a social media website. Uh, another thing that's absolutely childish and extremely prideful is to send that message in all caps, man, as if he's had a, has a high school or a junior high beef with his ex girlfriend. So you know, these is, this is the prideful mind of these Edomites, man, and what they're willing to do to to display their folly and their pridefulness, man. And this is going to be met with complete. Anger and true fury from the Habashim Yahushai and his elect men. History have ever suffered before. It came after Rouhani's own warning earlier in the day, saying the U.S. faces, quote, the mother of all wars if it picks a fight with Iran. But don't, don't play with the lion's tail. This will only lead to regret. You will forever regret it. Trump's tweet is likely the latest step in a PR offensive launched by his White House. U.S. officials say it's meant to encourage unrest in Iran. See the same posture here? See the same posture here? Very, very prideful posture. The way he cuts his eyes to everybody. Um, you know, just lets you know the mindset. You know, now normally in a sales, in sales, what you would do is you would fold your arms. You would mock his per. You would mock his persona to let you know that you're not intimidated by it. But these guys are just puppets, man, losers. To pressure its government to end both its nuclear program and support for militants. It also came only hours after tough talk from Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. He told a mostly Iranian American audience in California. This, this guy's a highly likely a pedophile. Highly likely. Um, some uh, scumbag, dirtbag, but here he's on the world stage trying to tell other world leaders uh, about what he thinks. It, it's, got, it's disgusting. The Lord is going to kill you and your family. He's going to kill everybody that you know. It's going to be beautiful. California, that Iran's leaders were comparable to organized crime. The level of corruption and wealth among Iranian leaders shows that Iran is run by something that resembles the mafia more than the government. Pompeo went on. Who the fuck are you to talk, man? Who are you to talk? All the crap that America does, man. Just pride, man. This is pride. And then this, this is why these world leaders are riled up. Because when they listen, they probably get more fired up than we do, man. But it's like, who the fuck is this guy to tell me that, man? You going around killing everybody, talking about the mafia. That's what you guys have been doing for centuries, man. ...to call Rouhani and Foreign Minister Javed Zarif merely polished frontman for the Ayatollah's international con artistry. Those two negotiated a deal with the United States and five other countries designed to stop Iran from developing nuclear weapons. However, in May, President Donald Trump withdrew from that accord. Pompeo also said Sunday the U.S. will work with countries that buy Iranian oil to get imports as close to zero as possible by November 4th. Not gonna happen. And so, you know, I just want to show these two vids, man, because it just shows the, the complete delusional mind of the pride of Esau. And that, and that pride stems all the way even back to the time of Rome, man. And, and it, it, it's, it's trickled down into the brains and hearts and minds of these Rudy Poo loser, uh, pea-brained Americans who are going to be engulfed in flames when that time comes, man. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. Um, that their pride that they have because that's their one of their highest sins against the Most High is that pride that they think that they can do it better than than Yahweh and Yahweh man. You know, and so it's gonna be a, a beautiful day when we see America and all of its cohorts taking taking up. And, and 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 balls of flame, man. It's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. I'm, I I mean, I can't wait to see that, man. I cannot wait to see it, man. So I'm gonna jump over here to Second Edges 11. Now we broke this down many years ago. We're gonna have to.
do another lesson on this at some point going into uh, these uh, Caesars of Rome. But this is 2nd Ezra 11 and 43. It says, I'll start at, uh, I'll start at 41. For the earth hast thou not judged with truth. For thou hast afflicted the meek, thou hast hurt the peaceable. Thou hast loved liars and destroyed the dwelling of them that brought forth fruit. And hast cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Therefore in thy wrongful dealings come up unto the highest, and thy pride to unto the mighty, man. The, the highest has all also hath looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, and his abominations were fulfilled. And so we saw the fall of Rome, and just like we're seeing the, 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 the these proud times here in Babylon the Great at its height, we're going to watch as America gets dismantled in its pride because they're going to be thrust into another world's war and it's going to be a war that they cannot win and in the same time at the same time there's going to be economic turmoil there's going to be famine in the streets there's going to be racial turmoil uh martial law um and it's going to be a, a, like a scene out of uh uh the, uh, the Hunger Games, uh, when you when you watch the uh, Mike and Jay Part One, where, the, where people start uprising, uprising against the, the the capital, you know they call them the resistance, the the, the rebellion, um, led by uh, 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 I forget her name, um, but she was the Mike and Jay, Candace Everdeen, you know, and then constantly what well, they they kept pushing, showing the uh, all the atrocities that the capital was doing against the people. Now, ironically, that was a twelve. That was twelve different districts, right? And then you had the capital ruling over those twelve different districts, you know. And then all the districts came together to make a thirteenth district, you know, to take down the 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 uh, elite who were ruling in tyranny, man, you know. And so you're going to have that happening at the same time in the spiritual sense that the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel are going to be uh, more while we're being brought up through, through the spirit, the miracles are going to be brought down uh, physically. Now, this is uh, Psalms chapter uh, 10. Uh, I'll start at verse 2. It says, the wicked in his pride do, do it persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined, right? And what devices have they imagined? That they were going to round all the people up, chip them. They were going to have a, a mass culling and control the earth and control the resources of the earth um, through tyranny and destruction and usury and warfare. So but they're going to be taken down by their own imaginations, man. It says, for the wicked boasts of his heart's desire. The wicked boasts of his heart's desire. And that is, they constantly do that, man. They constantly talk about, well, we're going to do this. We're going to take their, their their nuclear weapons. We're going to move this over here and do this over there. You ain't going to do none of that, man. You're going to be taken out. And blesses the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked through the pride of his continence will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh. Uh, Yahweh is not in all uh, all his thoughts. The most high ain't in the thoughts of, uh, of Donald Trump. The most high ain't in the thoughts of these elite. Most high ain't, ain't in the thoughts of these average Joe Schmo Edomites, man. Their own wicked intent is in their thoughts. And they think they are God, man. And that's why the, uh, so -called, uh, Edomites have to be moved out of the way. Violently. They have to violently be moved out of the way, man. Because all they push forth... Is destruction, man. Destruction. And so you're going to see these other nations rise up. Rise up. We're going to get a, a, a one that we all should know. Obadiah 1 and, 1 and 3. And it says, The pride of thy heart has deceived thee. Okay? It says, The pride of thy heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, and saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? And that is not that what uh, all these Edomites constantly say, man. And those in league with Esau and in America, they don't think anybody can stand against America. 
And that's why you're seeing Jake getting pummeled in the streets and uh, getting the cops called on him anytime they try to do anything. And you got these uh, 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 buck dancing uh, football players uh, 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 standing for the national anthem. Uh, meanwhile, back home, all their cousins and brothers get shot in the face, and they can't say shit about it, man. You gonna stand up for that for that anthem, boy? You you got buck dancers, these buck dancing uh, 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 athletes willing to do it for a paycheck, man. You know, and that's why uh, two thirds of our people are gonna get wiped out right along with Esau, man, because they they they're not willing to make Esau feel uncomfortable, man. They're not willing to tell the truth, and that's why they're gonna get put to death, man. And it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. It's as though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, in which we know that's America. National bird is, is an eagle, just like in Rome. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, with their, they have satellites in the sky, they have uh, 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 international and national space programs, the skyscrapers will reach up into the clouds, okay? You know, though thy nest is amongst the stars, hence will I bring thee down, said the Lord. And that's what we're waiting on, the prophecy of, of Malachi, the first chapter. They, 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 he was going to build up, but then he was going to be brought down. Talking about Esau, who is here today, who 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 is the so-called white man, but you do have our, our people scattered uh, 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 amongst the heathen that look so-called white. Some of those uh, will wake up, they wake up to the fact that they're not of that bloodline of Esau, and come back to their true nationality. But the, those who are from the lineage of Edom are going to be put to death. And eventually wipe off the planet Earth. And it's going to be a beautiful thing because the Earth will be able to finally breathe. Now, you just had an article that just broke that the last rhino on the planet Earth has been killed. And guess who you can blame for that, man? The hell a rhino to do with anybody, man. But eat grass, man. And look majestic and beautiful. Why, man? Esau has to be moved out of the way or everything will die. The planet Earth has to launch a counterattack via the Israelites. It's Proverbs 16, uh, verse 18. It says, the Pride goeth before destruction. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the pride of this place at its highest. We're seeing the pride of Esau coming coming to its highest. White nationalism um, and pride in and uh, pride in in in, 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 uh, in white supremacy is, is now is becoming more popular and it's beautiful. It's good. We need to wrap these people up in a haughty spirit before it fall. It says better to be of a an humble spirit with the lowly than divide the spoil with the proud. And that's why we're not here to break bread with, with our enemies because what they built is going to be taken away, man. Okay? It's going to be taken away as booty to those who are to rule um, in this next uh, kingdom to come, which is going to be the rise of the elected nation of Israel and um, uh, two-thirds of our people coming back through their loins. Then we're going to be able to live peaceably on on earth and put in chains and uh, in slavery the other nations. So the earth can be come back to its, 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 its natural way, man. The way that the, the, the Yahabashim Yahshua intended it to be. To where you live one with the earth in a, in, a, in a beautiful manner, man. Okay. This is Jeremiah 49. Verse uh, uh, verse fourteen. It says, "I have sent. I've heard in the uh, a rumor from the, the Lord, an ambassador sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together, and come against her, and rise up to the battle. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen, and despised among men." And that's talking about these Edomites, man. These these other nations are gonna uh, gonna look down upon America, man. Because because of its uh is is vile, cruel, uh, way of being, detestable, um, a despicable manner of living. Okay, it's unethical and immoral nature, and it's terrible dealings with other nations, man. So they're gonna look down on. 
It says, thy terribleness had deceived thee. See, you, you going around killing and stealing and robbing and lying. You think that, and that has deceived you. And then you think that you're not going to be punished for it. It says, in the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, uh, that hold, uh, holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy, thy nest as high as, as the eagle, I will bring thee down from hence, saith the Lord. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at it at all the plagues thereof. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, says the Lord, no man shall abide there. Neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Right? Which that's another scripture that lets you know that the whole world is not going to be destroyed because... You know, we obviously here it's, it's implying that we're going to be dwelling somewhere else on the planet. And so, you know, uh, 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 Edom here is likened to Sodom and how Sodom and Gomorrah was vaporized, man. Okay. And this is talking about, and this is linking Babel, uh, Edom with Babylon uh, the Great, which is America, man. Okay. And we're going to see America be taken down. And absolutely annihilated and wiped out, like just like Sodom and Gomorrah was vaporized. All right, and that's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. We gotta get this thing on and pop it, man. So we need the hell up out of here. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple more, man. Then I'm gonna get out of here. You know, this is Second Andrews chapter eight. Uh, Verse 49, it says, And that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and hast not judged thyself uh, worthy to be uh, be much glorified among the righteous. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the earth, dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. So, they, these people have walked in great pride, so there's a judgment coming for that, man. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. So, you know, these people that walked in great pride, there's, there's going to be trouble coming from them. We're not worried about those people that can't give up the pride of life. That can't give up the ways of this world, man. It says, for unto you is paradise open. The tree of life is planted and the time to come is prepared. Plenty of this is made ready. The city is built and rest is allowed. Yeah, perfect goodness and wisdom. The root of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness and the moth is hid from you. And corruption is fled until hell to be forgotten. And we cannot wait for that time to come. Sorrow has our past, and we have seen that because we live on many sorrows. And in the end, uh, it showed the treasure of immortality. And, you know, and that's why we want to stay away from the prideful nature of Esau so we can uh, be rewarded with these great treasures, man. With these great gifts. Okay. So, man, this is always a good one, man. Sirach chapter 10 and Ecclesiasticus chapter 10. Uh, I might skip around. It says, uh, Sirach chapter 10, verse 3. It says, An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he shall set over it one that is profitable. Okay, so that's what we're waiting on because when right now we're under our un unwise kings and, and counselors, man, that rule this world of wickedness. That's why we can't enjoy it. Okay, skip down to verse seven. It says, "Pride is hateful before uh, uh, God and man, and by both do one commit iniquity." And so, well, we we see that the, the, the pride of this man is is really destroying the planet, man. And that's why we're waiting, patiently waiting on his destruction. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not 
a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such as one setteth his own soul to sell, setteth his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. The physician cutteth off a long disease, and he that it is to day a king, tomorrow shall die. For when a man is dead, he shall inherit creeping things, beasts, and worms. The beginning of pride is when one departed from Yahweh, and his heart is turned away from his maker. And Esau did turn his way from the maker uh, once he uh, uh, forced to his birthright. He was committed to, uh, he had committed his soul to killing his brother and has lived deliciously on, his, on the earth with the sword, man. And so we, we know that Esau is just departed from uh, Yahweh and Yahweh It says, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he hath, hath it shall pour out abomination. And that's why we see the world engulfed in abomination, man. Because the ruler of this planet rules with pride. Okay? And therefore the Lord brought up uh, them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. And that's what we're going to see happen to America, man. America is going to be uh, uh, overthrown utterly, man, and, and completely wiped out, man. And that's the, that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on Yahweh and Yahweh to return and, and completely uh, destroy America and wipe our eyes of these tears, man. With that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shah, Bashim, Rakakadas, Dabo, honor to the elders that rule well. Peace and blessings to you, brothers out there preaching this word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.